The other day I was at the auto dealer waiting for an oil change, thumbing through my email inbox and found a newsletter from my eye insurance company urging people to have their blood sugars checked when they get an eye exam. Um, went on to say that many people are coming down with diabetic retinopathy and cataracts that never were heard of before at an alarming rate. And below that, there was a article in the newsletter that uh, I thought was clickbait. And what the article went on to say, the rate of prediabetes in California is um, over half. It's about 55% of people now in the state of California have either prediabetes or diabetes. My name is John Lorscheider. I'm a patient of Dr. Brewer's and a follower of his YouTube channel. So with Time to Kill and the Auto Dealer, I went through the uh, article. It was pretty alarming. Uh, some of the information that was put forth is uh, done in a study by UCLA, which I thought was a pretty reliable source. They really weren't uh, swayed by any commercial interests whatsoever, and it was done by their public health department. Uh, basically, what they found is over 13 million people, 14, 46% of all the adults in California are estimated to have prediabetes or undiagnosed diabetes. Um, they found another two and a half million people that were already diagnosed. So that comes out to about 15 and a half million people, 55% of Californians. That's startling. Um, gave me pause, uh, made me wonder if is California any different than any other state in the United States. Um, not sure at this point. What the article, what the research study actually went on to say is the rates of prediabetes increase with age, which is something Dr. Brewer has talked about quite a bit in his videos. Uh, the rates were also high among young adults. Uh, about a third of people, 18 to 39 now, are said to have prediabetes. Um, Where did they get this information? That's the one thing that I was really interested in. Um, they looked at data from a survey back in 2013 and 14 called the California Health Interview. What did they look at? They looked at recorded fasting blood glucose over 100 or an HbA1c of over 5.7. According to the American Diabetic Association, those are the standards for prediabetes. Um, in sort of a follow-up to a video the other day on the Kraft insulin assay, if the researchers at UCLA had ever looked at results from an oral glucose tolerance test or a Kraft insulin assay, they would probably find the number much higher than 55%, uh, probably be pushing 80 to 90%, because we know now that fasting blood glucose and hemoglobin A1C do not catch everybody. A um, little bit more information, what was in the study, one out of every three young adults has prediabetes. That's pretty alarming. Go through any school today, grade school or high school, there are a lot of kids that you can look at that you have to wonder, are they insulin resistant or diabetic? They found uh, prediabetes is higher in adults of color. So when they looked at the whole state as a whole, they pulled out nationalities of people and they found it wasn't just Americans, um, natural born Americans. These were people that have prediabetes 
Um, did they have prediabetes in the country that they hailed from, or was it something they acquired in the standard American diet? All questions I'd love to know. They broke it out by county. They looked at every county in the state of California, and they did find that in varying counties, uh, the rates of prediabetes and diabetes uh, varied from one county to another. Um, what we learned is with prediabetes, if you've watched all of the videos on Dr. Brewer's YouTube channel, many complications with prediabetes or diabetes. Um, you look at the eyes, you look at the heart, the skin, uh, the peripheral nerves. Um, there's many, many effects, negative effects of fasting and impaired glucose tolerance and um, insulin. So I asked myself, and this is one thing that the study didn't address, so this is mostly my opinion. Uh, what is the problem here? Why are we seeing prediabetes and diabetes at such an alarming rate in the United States? Um, in my opinion, and strictly my opinion, there are plenty of things to point to. Our, our medical guidelines, the American Diabetes Associations, are basically inadequate. Uh, that was really well pointed out in Dr. Kraft's insulin assay book that we talked about not too long ago. Um, insurance companies, they obviously do not want to pay. Their primary business is collecting premiums and denying claims. Um, no big secret there. Uh, I think we all have had a taste of that from time to time. Food manufacturers. Um, they want to maximize profits, use cheap ingredients. Uh, nothing much cheaper than sugar, flour, and starch uh, to pump up uh, food. Uh, also pumping up your blood sugars. Um, and of course, doctors and patients alike. Uh, they're unaware. Uh, doctors don't look past guidelines many times. Um, what I found with Dr. Brewer and PredMed is they look under rocks. They will if you have a blood sugar issue, it will get found. Um, so please comment below if you have any questions. There's a lot of good information in the study. Um, I can refer to that and try to answer any questions you have regarding the UCLA study. Thank you very much.